Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Tanish the Gamer. I know I haven't posted in many months, but I'm glad to see you back. And in today's video, we are going to be playing 7 Days to Die. So basically, I streamed it actually yesterday on my channel. So we're going to continue off from there, get our backpack um, back, and then we're going to have to work our way towards finding a safer place. Um, I am playing on Alpha 18.4, as you can see in the top right. And I'm aware, I'm aware that there's Alpha 19, but that's still an experimental mode or whatever, so it could have bugs and stuff. But for the most part, if you watched the stream yesterday, please do. I end up dying a terrible death, and literally the game started off... Started me off basically in the desert, and I had to go to the Wasteland as my first trader, which is absolutely the worst case scenario. Because Wasteland is usually, I would consider endgame territory, because that's usually where the best loot is. I have played this before with my friends on multiplayer, so I think I'll be getting on um, later. This is being recorded on Monday, July 27th, so it should be released later this week on the channel. I have to be careful here, because it is nighttime, so the zombies are much more aggressive. The first thing I need to do is build a stone axe. And in order to do that, I'm going to need small stone and wood. Yep, we have to go through this painful process. There's fibers, plenty of fibers for days, but I really need to get Small stones, those are not that hard to find. Looking around to make sure nothing's following me. At least, this, I don't know, is the game designed so that like early on the status effects don't get you as much? Because it seems like, well it is nighttime, so I guess I wouldn't expect like sweltering from the desert. Uh, I need to look around for more small stone. Yeah, I have a bunch of bullets somehow, and I'm like, it's early game, I don't even have a pistol, and I was hoping the trader sold one, but that wasn't the case. Ooh, these are all good things, because I can sell this at the trader. Alright, let's get the stone axe going, basic primitive stuff, and then let's focus on getting the, what is it, the stone club. I think that's what it's called, or is it just called a club? A wooden club, that's what it is. Alright, two basic things I need to get going if I'm going to get my stuff back. I how However, I don't have food, so I have to keep that in mind. I'm also damaged. Yep, and there you go. There's already two zombies over there. We don't want to encounter them because we are nowhere near safety and we need to get moving. I'm wasting the durability on that. I should just be doing this. I would love to get a bow going, but my old backpack has all that. But since we found some feathers here... Let's get some arrows going anyway, because we don't have any ranged weapons. Oh, that's right, I need a bunch more stone. This is also, um, I should mention, this is the Navisgain map. So this is like, basically, there really isn't a story mode, I would say, for this game. But this is the map that you want to start if you're a first-time player. This is technically my second time. I have my first-time playthrough that I haven't recorded, but... I've been playing with um, some friends on Discord, and we chill, so I might stream that too. Uh, I need to keep on moving. There's a bunch of them around me. Just waiting for this night to end, and then we could head back to the trader. Got yucca fruit. I think I can eat that. I'm not sure. I really do need to get to my bag because I bought a bunch of food and found, like, those casino tokens which I can use at the trader. Uh, this that's a high rate of food poisoning. I think I should be fine. I'm not going to worry too much about that. My stats aren't max, but I should be fine. Alright, gotta look out for bird's nest. Those things are so valuable early game because you can just make a bunch of arrows and if you can you know 
aim good <laughs> and get a headshot, you're good to go, man. Oh, shoot, what was that? Oh, I just ran into a cactus. I thought I heard something else, though. Okay, if we look on the map here and zoom out... Yeah, I have got a long ways to go. Drop my bag there. I think... Did I die near the trader? No, the trader was down this way. So yeah, I've got a long, long ways to go. Holy crap, this is a sheer drop-off. Is this even map territory? I think you could go down there, but that's a sheer drop-off. I'm also looking out for birds, but, you know, we got a bow, so we should be fine. There's a there's a shadow of a bird right there. I feel, those things just randomly attack. Oh, wow. I was, did they just spawn right in front of me? I was about to run into that. Healing pills. Those will come in handy later. Yeah, I could get that stuff, but that's unnecessary for me right now. Good to know that there are a bunch of nitrate deposits near this base. Don't think I've looted that building. I can't remember if I have. In this game, one thing I've learned is that being in buildings is not as safe as you think because there's probably a bunch of zombies just chilling in there. So I'd rather just be out in the open. There is the risk of birds, but it's better than being in a house with like five zombies, especially at night because they're raged. Yep, like that. Perfect example. They're not as fast as I thought. At least you could run away from them. Uh Oh yeah, let's wear some... That's good cold resist and stuff. Man, I'm hearing a lot of sounds. It's just like triggering me. I'm just like, where's that coming from? Alright, that guy's gonna keep on chasing me. Sure. Uh, I take back what I said about being out in the open being safer. But I'm just gonna keep on going this way. Right now, if the trader could s just happen to sell a pistol, that would be amazing. That would just be so helpful. What the? Hmm. Alright. Well, I'm going to keep on going this way. Ooh, ooh. Can I kill this? Oh, wait. Can I just use this? Alright, killed a chicken. I got a bunch of feathers from it, which is actually good. Because now I could craft way more arrows, and I can actually start not feeling threatened by these guys, because I have a decent amount of ammunition now. If anything charges at me, it's fair game. I'm going to try and kill it for XP. Alright, even more arrows. Let's go ahead and craft those up. I have nothing better to spend them on. Uh, I shouldn't have... Alright, screw it. Oh. Oh, this is risky. Yep, I'm gonna get myself killed again. That's what happens when you take bad advice from someone. Definitely thought the arrows were better. Alright, can I not get these arrows back? Uh, there we go. Oh boy. I'm infected, which means I am pretty much screwed unless I can get to the trader and find antivirals. What I will do is take these. It's going to put down my water by a lot. But I don't have much of an option. Yeah, I expected these stone arrows to be a lot better. But they're not as good as I thought. I mean, it is... Oh, alright. It is just basic equipment. But, dang, they take a lot of arrows. Okay, I think this is a side trail. This should 
Yep, now this is a pathway. This should lead me to my bag. Yeah, the infection's just gonna slowly kill me off. I have I can literally do nothing. But I also have to make sure I don't get too close to the wasteland before... Um... Daytime. Ooh, I can't eat raw meat, but that's such a high rate of... Charred meat? Grilled meat? Yeah, I need to invest into cooking and stuff. Yep, dehydration is starting to kick in. You can see that status effect on my um, display on my UI there. I'm really liking this game so far. The multiplayer mode that I've been playing, I've gone so far. We've got a bunch of great stuff, an epic base. It's just been so fun. I want to see if I could even manage to make that sort of progress in a solo playthrough. Let's see, we're about to level up. I'm gonna see if I can perhaps level up. I'm just like, I need to eat more, but I know this yucca fruit is gonna screw me over if I'm not careful. It's better than the meat. But that's not what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about the food poisoning. Okay, I think we're starting to approach the wasteland. Nice. Alright, bunch of feathers, but we don't need to craft a whole lot of ammo at the moment. We're good on that. Man, I remember just starting out in multiplayer, and it's just like... You know, it's hard. <laughs> this game definitely has its ups and, ups and downs, but... It's a really fun game, in my opinion. I definitely recommend it. Alright, let's consume a few more of these. I have way more Duke's Casino tokens in my backpack, so I think I should not even be concerned about the infection, assuming that the trader has any antiviral pills. Alright, hold up. This is literally the transition zone, so I'm going to wait till 4, and then... I'll, I'll meet you guys on the other side. Nope. No, thank you. Go away. It's almost 4 a.m. I'm good. Oh, wow. This is like the last stand. It's 4 a.m. and all the birds are coming after me. Oh, wait. Why am I using that? I have a bow and arrow. Okay, now they're not as aggressive. It is 4 a.m. and we're heading to the other side. We need to get our loot back and we can't afford to die again because, well, then we lose our bag. So far, things have been pretty rough. We're down a lot on HP. And we just gotta hope that we can get to our bag. Oh yeah, this is brutal. The Wasteland playthrough is definitely brutal. Alright, that bird is definitely trying to attack me, isn't it? Where is it? I think I should be fine. It's above me. Oh. That's not good. I'm bleeding. I don't have a bandage. I don't know what to do. I literally can't craft one. Am I just going to bleed out? Yep. Oh, I didn't. Oh, crap. Nope. Oh, boy. This is really risking it right now. Crap. Oh, that is a mine right there. Almost ran into that. You know what? Just eat everything I have. Hope to gain HP out of this. That's definitely not how it works, but... 
that will need to survive right now. That is a dead end. How far am I from my bag? Alright, I'm not that far. I just need to get to it, take all the loot, and get out of here. Uh, okay, these guys should not be that aggressive. Nope. I don't want any part of that. Okay, I know I tried to... Nope. Where's my bag? Take everything. And no. Nope. Do not get stuck. That is the absolute worst thing you want to do right now. Okay. We're still not at a safe spot. I need to wear all this. I don't know why it didn't auto-equip. Scrap that. Scrap that. We have all of these already. I have nothing that's going to cure my... Ooh, I can make bandages. I need to get up on that right now. Alright, let's use that. Start up some healing. Gotta be quick about this. Alright, let's also eat some food. I don't think I'm hungry, but I'm gonna get some food in me. What is that? What is that? Alright, <laughs> I'm panicking over a simple zombie, but still. Okay, okay. Alright, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough, or this episode of this playthrough. And next episode, we're going to work on doing quests for the trader. And until the next episode, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.